Hello everyone. This video is consecutive to the previous two ones about the pivot torch, and I will be covering the mathematical operations in pivot torch. This recitation has four parts, and uh, I will go over the element mass operations, reduction operations, compressor operations, and vector and matrix operations. Uh, first, for the element mass operations, it is quite simple to the uh, uh, element mass operations in NumPy. And uh, also, Pure Torch offers all the basic mathematical operations, and so um, we listed some of the most commonly used uh, operations here. Uh, to illustrate the um, element mass operation, we first set up the tensors. We set all the elements in the tensors equal to 1 for convenience. We may check the tensor's shape here. Um, in Fetorch, you can do the addition operation between a, a tensor and a scalar lattice. And also, you can do the addition between two tensors, multiplication between a scalar and tensor, and multiplication between two tensors. Also, those operations can be extended to the multidimensional tensors. Here we give out the example of uh, two tensors have the shape of three and four. We want to emphasize that pivot torch supports uh, broadcasting operation, uh, broadcasting uh, tensors of different dimensions, which means you can do the uh, addition or the multiplication operation between two tensors which do not share the same shape. Here we give out the example of the addition operation. You may find that the T3 and T5 uh, are two tensors which, has, uh, which have the shape of 3 and 4 and uh, 3 and 1 respectively, but you can still do the addition operation between those two tensors because pure torch will automatically match the corresponding dimensions and uh, it will repeat it. Uh, the replace the uh, unmatched dimensions to enable the operation. Then for the reduction operation, Pivotor supports all commonly used mathematical reduction operations, such as sum, mean, standard deviation, max, argmax, and so on. This can either be applied on the entire tensor or you can choose the specific dimensions to apply them. Here, we give us the example of sum function. You can call the sum function by using the tensor.sum, or you can use the torch.sum and pass the tensor to this function. Uh, you can apply the sum function on the entire tensor like this, and you can also choose the dimension uh, to do the sum operation uh, like this. For the comparison operations, uh, um, the comparison operations in Pierre Torch is quite straightforward. You can directly call the logical operators uh, like, uh, like these comments, and these comments will return you a boolean tensor which has the same shape of the inputs. Uh, also, you can combine the reduction operations with the boolean tensors returned from the logical operator. Uh, the any and all uh, function in the pivot torch uh, is uh, si similar to the uh, and and the or logical operator. So uh, you can use this to uh, do the uh, to do the reduction operation on the um, boolean tensors. Also, you can choose the specific dimension to do this operation. And for the vector and matrix operations, uh, it is uh, quite similar to NumPy, and uh, it supports lots of uh, um, type of inputs. For example, vector to vector and uh, matrix to vector, or maybe a high dimensional matrix and uh, uh, a broadcasted vector. Um, 
uh, you may see this and the vector do not share the same shape with the uh, uh, matrix but uh, 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 thanks to the broadcasting property of the PY torch, uh, you can still do the matrix multiplication uh, using these tensors. Um, uh, for the matrix multiplication, you can use the torch dot map more, or you can directly use the add sign. These two uh, commands are equivalent. These two are the high-dimensional version of uh, um, of the matrix multiplication. Last but not least, uh, we'll go over the ensign function. This function is very powerful, and you can uh, do uh, most of the mathematical operation using this function. Here we give uh, an example of the matrix multiplication between two two-dimensional tensors. And you may find that uh, the dimension uh, 5 and 3, um, and uh, for the match the dimensional k, it is the dimension you will do the sum operation in the matrix multiplication. And uh, we also compare the uh, running time of the ensign function and the uh, uh, permuting the uh, standard uh, mathematical function in pure torch. Um, here the permute function uh, is equivalent to the transpose because if you want to do the matrix multiplication between two tensors with, which are all have the shape of 5 and 3, you need to transpose one of them. And uh, you may find that the ensign function uh, has for uh, uh, you, the ensign function uh, has the last running time. So uh, if you want to uh, uh, write your code in a more computational, efficient way, and you can try to use more ensign function rather than the uh, mathematical function in the pure torch. And if you are interested in the ensign function, you can refer to the official document of the PY torch. And, and there they give out uh, uh, a detailed illustration uh, of how to use the ensign function. That's all. Thank you for listening.